these mums are in these tiny crates, which are basically the length and width of a pig. They can't move, they can't turn around. So there's these mums lying there with the bars pressing in against them on both sides and their babies around them running from one side to the other. They're giving birth in these tiny little metal crates. Now normally a pig in the wild they'd build themselves a nest, they'd find a quiet secluded area and they'd give birth to their pigs in this kind of uh, environment that they'd created. In these farms you've got mums giving birth confined in a noisy shed on bare hard concrete, often lying in their own manure. And pigs are very clean animals. They would normally create an environment which was very comfortable for them and their young. Now these pigs are stressed out, they're not in a good shape at all, and they're having to give birth to their young one of the most meaningful moments in their life and they're having to do so under artificial lights, surrounded by dozens of other pigs in very noisy sheds. It's unthinkable that anyone would think that was any kind of um, environment for a mum to give birth in. Like, I, I honestly can't believe that, that that's accepted practice. Not only do the mums have to give birth in these horrible conditions, they're forced to do so again and again and again, multiple times a year, year after year after year, until their bodies are spent when they're sent away for slaughter. So for these mums, this isn't like a one-off experience, this is their entire life. One of suffering, of giving birth in horrible conditions, and then of having their babies snatched off them. I can't imagine myself having to sit in a crate for that time, let alone that being basically my whole life. I think being in those conditions would be incredibly frustrating and what we often see in pig farms is pigs having given up their will to live basically, like just staring at the floor, looking completely miserable and not even present in anything, like they're just there waiting to die almost. Pig farmers say that these conditions are for the pig's own good, but there's nothing good and there's nothing even defendable about these kinds of conditions. And they say that they have to confine the mums because otherwise they would squash their young. And that's simply not true. In the wild, the mum knows where her piglets are. She um, creates this nest, this safe space for them. And as we see every single time we go into a shed, we see dead piglets everywhere. So there's no justification for it. It's not for the well-being of the mums, and it's definitely not for the well-being of the piglets. The fundamental conditions these animals are being kept in are industry-wide, they're standard. You'll find these on any farm across New Zealand. They certainly aren't isolated, they aren't road conditions. This is what you'll find, and it is what we find whenever we go to farms anywhere in the country. One thing that could be done right away, and I don't know why it hasn't been done, is farrowing crates could be abolished right away. We've already seen sow crates banned in New Zealand, and there's no reason why the government couldn't overnight get rid of farrowing crates the same way. Ultimately, if we're serious about treating animals ethically, and if we're serious about caring for animals, we simply can't kill and eat animals. There is no need for it, and you can't do it ethically. It's people getting up in the morning and having their bacon and eggs which sustain these industries and they're the reason why these pigs are in these cages. The biggest thing that we can do is stop consuming them because if there's no consumers the industry doesn't exist anymore.